Oh, good morning. So now it's morning time, Thursday. <laughs> Just the shit I had yesterday underneath everything. Oh, brother. It, it looks like um that they were marching in Manhattan. You know what I'm saying? And um, I, I didn't see the uh, mayor call out the National Guard and do all this stuff. Of course, Manhattan is different than like the you know like because it's five boroughs it's different than the other boroughs there's uh you know you got the trump towers and you 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 got lincoln center Carnegie hall radio city music hall all the abc nbc the exxon building and etc there um a lot of money there so you're not gonna have police going down the street with the tanks and going tear gas first of all <laughs> you know what i'm saying uh it just ain't gonna happen that that happens in the 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 poorer area, um, you know. Um, as in Ferguson is an excellent example of just recent where the police used the tear gas and called out the national guards because the people were marching down the street. You know, New York they used to crowds. You know, um, you know what I'm saying. If the police are they they up in the Bronx or somewhere, you know what I'm saying. You know, usually it ain't so much African Americans as Haitis or Dominicans, the ones that have to push other. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They haven't been accoladed into the country. You, you know what I'm saying? They first generation or only second generation. Third generation will be like, oh, I, don't know. I guess we're African American. We just came from Africa, right? <laughs> I learned that in our school system. <laughs> Yay! United States school system. <laughs> I don't know where it should come from. <laughs> you know? I mean, I blame our school system and the idea that, you know, like, just reading some of the shit that, you know, some of the uh, stuff that was written out of Ferguson and the way that the mayor of New York had, was that, Julianne, the way he was acting, the shit that came out of his mouth, he looked like, uh, like, uh, his mom came from Edison Island and like the rest of the women at the time, and you can look it up because it is in the history books, all right, probably just ended up being a prostitute. So now he probably all thinking he better because what? Y your motherfuckers had to get uh, 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 um, read the Constitution and become a citizen or some shit. So you might know something better than someone that's native that was born this bitch a couple hundred fucking generations, okay? But anyway, but that don't make you no shit. That just knows that you, you is the propaganda. You is the tool. You is the tool that they are uh, able to uh, uh, declare war on the American citizen. You know what I'm saying? Think you're going to rule something? No. All you're going to do is make more money for the 1%. They make money off of war. They make money off of prostitution. They make money off of fracking. You know, they're into oil. You know what I'm saying? They make money off of communication. So what if they're listening? So what? They can't comprehend. That's why they got to have keywords. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? How you gonna, how you, how you gonna, how you gonna find out something where, where you just got, you're looking for somebody who's projecting yourself and you can't even see you. Because if you see you, you're gonna be get, that's when you get all ready to mad. You looking for somebody, the, the the black people to be like you? This, you know what I'm saying? Now in Africa, where you, they've been ever since like Cleopatra, the white folks showed up, with, you know, with their uh, 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 murdering, killing, uh, 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 you know, uh, thieving uh, and raping ways. You know what I'm saying? And you have missionaries there, and everybody. You can't tell me that all those court cases where those um, young boys won for those priests raping them, that that didn't happen. You can't tell me all the stories I heard from people about that happening, even females. You know what I'm saying? Like that one Indian girl, you know, from uh, Alaska. You know what I'm saying? They they took all those little Indian kids, and, 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 and you know what I'm saying? And those, and those little nuns is just the meanest and cruel beat them, and you know, physically, and, 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 and raped them, and emotionally, you know what I'm saying? Chastised and bullied them, you know what I mean? So, um, that, so that's a little bit different than what American uh, black had to go to. We still have like you can see like the way that the mayor and the governor 
in the chief police, not only in, uh, in, in Farrison, but even in some of the other um, uh, more racially motivated um, states. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of them was getting the, most of their funding from the cheap labor from the prison, like California. California don't want to let go the, uh, 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 the the people they have in jail that they've been ordered to let go because they're they're you know they they're getting paid two dollars a day to do labor. Where are they going to get the two dollars a day? They're getting they're having pe you know what I'm saying because of the corruption and and, and, and blackmail and embezzlement caused by the war on the people you know with the drugs in the sex industry is all about blackmail and embezzlement. That's another way to make money. Because of all this, a lot of our government's officials, that they, they, they're profiting. So anyway, so I, I, I see that, you know, that our court system has gave us, a, has sent me a message. You know, personally, I don't even see anybody else really paying, you know, saying listening. You can strive. That'd be one way. Let me know you're out there. I did. I didn't read the comment, but like the one where I was like, I was like in my bedroom there, you know, because like um, that also, you know, is a, is so well, you know, working in the propaganda with the sex and drugs industry. You know what I'm saying? You can look at a lot of famous stars that have o OD, you know, prominent. Uh, 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 of actresses and musicians, and you could go back in time and see, the, you know, these deaths, you know, from the drugs. You know, I mean, you can look at Michael Jackson. You can look at Whit uh, Whitney Houston. <laughs> you, there's uh, so many examples. You know what I'm saying? But also with this, with the sex industry, they utilize drugs like as Bill Cosby's victims were saying. And you know, you hear a lot about Rufy. That ain't the first time I heard some shit about that. They even did something uh, on one of the shows, What Would You Do? And they show where the guys, no, none of them come to the AIDS. You know what I'm saying? And I can tell you that for a fact. Ain't nobody gonna come to a, a, a female uh, 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 hell. Just like if you see a, a child getting whooped by the parents. Everybody say, oh, well, let the, let, you know, that's their kid. You know what I'm saying? Nobody comes to that child's aid. It's part of propaganda. Part of victimizing the victim. You know what I'm saying? You know, if you if you have to recognize that, hey, you know, if if it if it's you know what I mean, like these people can't like that. Please, they can't empathize. That just gives you one fucking advantage that they can dish it out, but they cannot take it. They they could kill and murder that young man. But they, and they could, they could throw tons of people in jail. But he ain't sorry about shit. That that one in New York said he gave his condolences. He ain't condone. Yeah, he's condoning something. The condoning of the police murdering. You know what I'm saying? Because they all got the the maturity of a moron. So that would be real funny to a moron. Using a pawn. As a truth, believing they believe their lies. Nobody else though, they do. You know what I'm saying? Like that bully in the schoolyard, that third grade motherfucker bully with a. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't talk to this bitch. And you know what I'm saying? He go home and uh, uh, you talk to his parents, and his parents are bigger ass bullies than him. They come by it honest fuckingly. If they're fucking moron, they got moron parents. And guarantee they're gonna have little moron little motherfuckers running around. We are in a security, you know, problem. This is a a fucking clear and present danger to the security of the United States of America. Believe that. It is an attack on our constitutional and our civil rights. We need to fix this. Fix it now. But we got our fucking police that we use our taxes coming down the street, shooting citizens, and throwing off uh, gas grenade guns, and having it look like a gas, uh, 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 the middle fucking east, like Lebanon, or Syria, or Israel. 
Pakistan, Turkey. The list goes on and on and on. There's plenty of places there's a war at. And who's behind these all these wars? United States, the British. You think uh, why they gonna rule something? Policemen, they think that oh they're gonna rule something. We already got rulers that are white. They call them, they call Britain. Okay? They they call other white people that got plenty of money motherfuckers and is in charge of whole com of countries. And that ain't you, Mr. Policeman. You're just a tool for our enemies to come in here and destroy us at the fabric. And the ones they're going to fuck up the most, just like those Roman soldiers that used to use their capsules, and then their capsules would go fight, and they would fight the hardest, because they think they've been accepted, and, oh, well, they're going to be ruling, right? What happens? When they come back home, they fed to the fucking lions, and they fucking the children. Anyway. And, you, and remember, your children is the the one with oh the uh, this is the uh, the the American look next door, you know, clean cut next door. The, the little motherfuckers that go around, you the one with the guns. Okay, I'm not the image that they propaganda. You know what I'm saying? I ain't your hate ass motherfucker bitch, but I can recognize a motherfucker showing ass.